There's so much in our Western society today that looks like the old paganism revived. So much of what is called the new morality is not new at all. It's the old immorality. It's the old paganism. We know about child sacrifice, human sacrifice. Before the gospel arrived in Africa, people running around naked, uh, killing and even eating their neighbors was not unknown. And uh, sacrificing babies was uh, uh, practiced and there was all kinds of human sacrifices performed. I know an area in, in uh, the northeast of South Africa called Venda, where the Vendan tribe worships the white crocodile god. And there's Lake Fundudzi. And Lake Fundudzi, they'd have a beauty competition and the most beautiful girl amongst the Vendan people would be sacrificed to the crocodile god. And many of them would walk in there very excitedly, enthusiastically, think this is a great privilege. Others were not convinced and had to be carried kicking and screaming by their parents or brothers and thrown in. And of course, the crocodile's idea of marriage seemed to be just to eat the poor victim. Now, not a great incentive to be beautiful, but this kind of human sacrifice and this kind of grotesque uh, evil which you see in witchcraft-dominated societies, we now see in the West. In fact, not only do we see the same body piercings, tattoos, uh, stretching of earlobes and so on, which once the pagan tribes practiced, disfiguring their bodies, which the Bible describes as an abomination. But what about abortion? Is abortion today not like child sacrifice was in the past? Does it make any difference if the baby is killed by a witch doctor wearing skins and rattling bones around his neck uh, with an unhygienic blade or killed by some sophisticated university graduate in a white coat with uh, clinical uh, environment and sophisticated instruments, does it make a difference? It's still child sacrifice, the baby's getting killed. And so I think we need to recognize that there's a new paganism coming into the West. It's seen in a lot of the music, it's seen in a lot of the art and for the killing of babies. And in so many different ways, the revival of occultism and uh, the, the fascination with, uh, with evil. In many ways, a lot of our cities today are darker spiritually than some of the deepest, darkest reaches of the jungle in the Congo uh, were in the past. And it's amazing that in Africa, as we get tens of thousands and millions of Africans moving away from animism and away from witchcraft and coming to Christ in massive people movements. And yet you find in the West, millions turning away from Christ, away from their Christian heritage and going back to the paganism, which Christians in Asia, Africa and the Pacific Islands have turned away from.